Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Satisfactory Season 2. So on the last episode, we did a little bit of hard drive hunting. We've almost collected all of them. We also did the uh, space elevator. All we have left to do is become employee of the planet. So for right now, this thing is completely useless because we're going to automate everything to go into the space elevator to unlock this final one. But concerning quick unlock stuff, we actually went through the hub and we've gotten all the tiers unlocked and the first thing in tier seven which is a bauxite refinement giving us some aluminum ingots so we can make some alclad aluminum sheets some aluminum casing also radio control units holy goalies so it turns out these are no longer in the ma'am see first things first is we don't got very much in terms of power this and a few little like uh i think about one fuel generator over there so not much there we got to rework our whole little, like, um, kind of hub station right here that's been producing stuff. Oh, uh, as well as we got to find some box sites. So I need to make a list and I need to figure out what I need because no oil extractor, but I'm going to need two miners. All right. One for the box site as well as one for the copper. We're also going to need a foundry or two, you know, we need stuff like that. All right, everybody, I figured it out. So check this out. Now, if we get to this area with all these lovely little pools, we have right over here, we have some bauxite, which we can pull, not to mention some coal over here, which we can pull. And over here, some copper, which we can pull into one centralized area. What we're going to do is we're going to make a nice little small power plant to run it all. We are going to use the copper and the, uh, what is it, the coal? So we're going to use the copper and the coal, and we're going to make something really nice over there, uh, making all the aluminum stuff as well. So it's going to be really great. All right, just one more belt to connect, and there we go. 240 coal per minute. So I decided that I'm up here. I might as well hook up my uh, power, bring that up here so I can start building some stuff. And one of the first things that I wanted to set up was a nice little coal power plant. And to get the coal power plant, I needed water. Oh, so much, so much water. So much power. So I came over here into the lake. Oh my God. And we went underneath here and we're going up and we're making. Da, 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 da. Check this sucker out. So we have half of it going over there, half of it going over there. We have eight over there, eight over there. The water should already be full, and we should just be waiting on the coal. <gasps> yes, one is kicking on, and there we go. Now, as of right now, I don't need this much power. But once I start building the refineries, I'm going to. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So when they're all working, will we be up to 2600? Maybe. I don't know. So with the water in hand, next thing we need is we need the bauxite. So that is going to be... Oh, wait, we can ding it. Guys, we can ding it. Where's my dingy button? Ding! Round one. Wait! <gasps> so as you can see, my bauxite is going to be right over here. So we just have to bring this straight across and down here somewhere. Wait, actually, I have a couple different to choose from, but I think this one right here is a pure node. Definitely the closest one. So we're going to bring that one down, like, pretty much right over here. So we need to get out of this damn place and up there and find it. All right, I found some bauxite. And, of course, it is a lovely pure node, so I got my Marner Mark II on it. Which is going to give me 240 bucks I per minute. Now we're going to start with 240 just for right now. And uh, see where we go to from there. 
So we could amp this up. Let's see, 480 plus 120. So we could amp it up to all the way to 600 if we needed to and just use one bauxite, but we still need to get it back to base. And as you can see, I'm a little bit far from where I need it to be, but should be no problem getting it back there. Let me go back there right now. Hey guys, check this out. Wait, how do I get up here? Dang it, I forgot. So I brought the wonderful bauxite all the way over here and it was nice. So the way to set up the bauxite apparently is you gotta split it up into two. So a 24 or 240 line is gonna be two 120 lines. So that's gonna take up two of these, not to mention 180 water a piece. So that'll need, we need 360, which is three of these things. Now, luckily on this, I have, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, a full 600 line coming in over here. So that'll be fine on that. And we're just leaving the rest of the water idle for now. Now, the great thing about that, that produces the aluminum solution and silica. Yes. So I got these coming over here, linking together and going in. So the aluminum solution plus coal now, which is uh, very interesting, is going to make us some aluminum scraps, 360 per minute. It also makes us some water, which we can actually push back into the machine. And that's going to produce us 360 aluminum scraps per minute. And then take a look at this. All I did was just put the water back in over here. So it's pretty nice and easy. Now for the fun part. See, unfortunately, uh, 360 can make four of these wonderful foundries making aluminum ingots. But the problem is I need more silica and I don't have it. Not here. I don't have any here. It sucks. But, 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 if I travel back to my base, da, 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 da. one, two, three, four, five, six, six, I'm making 37.5. So end to the whatever. So 37.5 times six. All right. And that's 225. And we're going to plus 100. So that's 325. So that's 325 a minute. Why the extra 100? Because that is what the lovely one over there was making for the excess machine. And we need, uh, what was it, like 75 divided by 4? Or no, no, 75 times 4. So we need 300. So luckily, we actually have enough silica being made. The only problem is I'm going to have to constantly drag it from over here to over there and fill up a bin. Okay, so now as you can see, it's a pretty backed up right about now, which is no bueno. But once we dump in all this silica, yeah, that should really help us out. Except for these things are jam packed full right now. So now what we have going on is we have 60 per minute times four, which is 240 lovely aluminium ingots all right we turned all that bauxite into aluminium and that is amazing so what are we going to do with the aluminium well we go into our projection we grab a constructor and maybe put it over here for right now and we can make aluminum casing which just is 90 to make 60 so we're going to lose on that but there's also one other thing that we need to make and it's not in here well, if, 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 this is a big if, we take assembler, come on assembler, all we have to do is combine the nice little aluminium ingots and the copper ingots to make alclad aluminum sheets. So it's a 30 for 30, but I also need 10 ingots, but look at this. So there's also the alclad casing where if I get 112.5 ingots? Wow, that's an annoying number. Hold on. All right, guys. Now, I know I said I was going to be making some uh, uh, copper ingots, you know, <laughs> but this thing needs about 20 copper ingots per minute. So let's see. 60 minutes, 60 times two, a thousand. I mean, I could basically bring them here by hand if I need to, especially if I'm going to be bringing some silica. How are we doing? Do the silicas empty already? Dude, we went through all that silica. But, of course, 
I have about 5,000 stuff. So, you know, we're kind of pretty good at everything. So we'll definitely have plenty of these, about 800, and I'm making a couple of these over here. So we have everything that we need. I just need to fill it back up a couple more times. But otherwise, it's it's pretty, pretty good. Hell yeah! Now we can actually make conveyor belt Mark V. Pod will return in like less than a minute. Oh god. It's just gonna go up and just come straight down again. <laughs> anyway, so on to the next one, which is going to be... Do I need... Hazmat suit? Do I... Uh, inventory slot. We are gonna skip right into the drone. The drone, ladies and gentlemen, the drone. I need 50 of these bad boys. Otherwise, everything... Like, I have plenty of motors. Don't get me started on how many motors I have. <laughs> so, let's select this milestone and knock this one out. Because then... Oh my god, we get to have the drone port and the drones. And then I can automate those thingies that I was complaining about. Well, after tireless effort, I was able to make a couple different... Wait, where did they go? There we go, one. <laughs> Just kidding, where are they? I got 50 of them. And with all the other stuff that I have, which is nice, all I need now is some motors. And I bet you're wondering, Chaos, where are you going to get the motors? It's not like you've had this stupid thing running this whole entire time. <laughs> Turns out, I have. <laughs> one, hundred, two hundred, and three hundred. There we go. Couple motors have been gotten. Now we just need to make our way all the way over there. Whee! All right, and now we throw the things in there and we push the button and in it goes. <laughs> oh boy, everybody, guess what we got? Well, besides conveyor lifts, Mark V, which is so nice to have. All right, so under organization, no, that's the walkway, so I underlocked that. Don't ask why. All right, drone port and drone. So drone is some motors. Oh, another one of those AI limiters. Oh, radio control unit, but the port, 10? Oh, I really should be automating all this stuff. Why did I not do this? Oh, so it'll be a while before we make the drone ports, but what else did I have in here so I could have it on there? and do that instead of actually following the logical step that we normally do. So we could make the hazmat suit, which will give us more inventory space. I have everything but the nice gas filters, which need more fabric. Oh, well, I have the rubber and coal. I have plenty of coal. And then we can actually, oh yeah, we need that before we get into nuclear power, which we need 50 supercomputers before we even get into that. And then we need more supercomputers to make the nuclear power plant. So that's kind of annoying. We have the option of just skipping that and going straight into advanced aluminum production, which will give us all this lovely stuff that uses way more power. But wait, this unlocks the cooling system, which then unlocks the hover pad. <laughs> I don't know why if I should just skip things and say, screw it. Mario Mark three. Ooh, that'll be nice. This one we're definitely saving to the very end. I don't want to waste our time. So I'm really tempted to just screw, skip over nuclear power. But we need nuclear power. Especially if we're going to need enough power to do all the wonderful stuff that I want to do. So we're going to need the hazmat suit. And then we're going to go into nuclear. Okay, progress report. I, well, I deleted everything in here, and I took it and I threw it on all these wonderful bins, just basically keeping it off to the side. And then I decided that I was going to make some new power. So if you remember, I had like all these, all this coal over here. It was so nice. Well, that's all just thrown out the window and replaced with this little baby over here. So basically over there, you can see right where I had the thingamabobber. Wait, let me zoom in. So right where I got the oil that was coming over here, there was three nodes. So we're taking all three nodes, deleted everything else. So there's no more rubber. There's no more plastic over there. And all the oil is just coming straight down. Not to mention, I used up all those power shards. Remember how I had a whole bunch? Oh, I don't have them on me. But as you can see, everything is basically power sharded up. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, man, I still got to get all this. To oh, I just realized what I need to do. 
I might have all this polymer resin stuck in here and I forgot to make room to take it out. Oh, that was that was that was great of me. Top tier. Oh god, top tier guy right here, man. Top tier builder. Know exactly what I'm doing. Anywho, so yeah, it was gonna basically make all this into fuel. So that's the heavy oil residue. And then this into fuel, and all this would be coming down, and we would just fill up. You know, a whole bunch of these, um, what was it, power, a uh, fuel generators, yeah. The only problem is I need computers and heavy modular frames. So I was like, why not just build a nice little temporary setup over here, and this temporary setup will make me, da 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 da, computers and heavy modular frames. So yeah, I just used everything I had in these bins and just shoved it all over here. So I'll reinforce iron plates, modular frames, you know, pipes, concrete, all that to make some heavy modular frames with an alt recipe, as well as the other stuff over here to make myself, I think this was, uh, oh yeah, I'm making crystal oscillators and using the fabulous crystal oscillator and circuit board one to make myself some computers. This is making me plenty of circuit boards. And then I'll just basically use all this stuff to basically make me a bunch of fuel gens. Probably just put them like right over here or something, just so I can get more power. Now, I bet you're wondering what all this power is running on. Well, remember all that power that I was making over there in the nice... Oh, God, what biome was that? Yeah, where all the other stuff is in the giant pool. <laughs> so basically, all that power that was being made over there is coming over here. And then, of course, for some reason, some fuel generators over there are still running with no fuel in them. It's a weird bug right now, but they will fix it, and I want to basically make plenty of fuel before I have to worry about that. But while I gotta figure this out, I might as well go over here and figure out how the hell I'm gonna get all that stuff kind of uh, merged together. Maybe put like a merger here and just in between each one. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, by the way, this one right here, this one's plastic, and this one's rubber, also making heavy oil residue and coming in here to make fuel. So let me continue on that now that I got some computers going on. So I need to make 40 fuel gens. So basically let's put this up to 40. Boom. So I need at least 200 computers and 400 modular frames. So I'm almost up to that for the computers. As for modular frames, 222. Wait, I think I had some over here as well. Not on this one. This is like the constant one that I've been using, and that's the one that I have a whole bunch of. Really? I have no heavy modular frames? 49. Where are they? Dude, it's so hard to see things now. I don't know why. What? Throw those in there. Eh. And there we go. So I got about, uh, what are we at here? 274 and 141. So yeah, we'll have plenty, and we'll leave the extra ones to keep going because God knows we're going to need computers and heavy modular frames for something. Uh, I decided to expand it out, so I finished making as many uh, heavy modular frames as I could, and then switched this out to be making some high-speed connectors, though we keep rushing through some uh, nice little, what is it, uh, Quicksilver or whatever this stuff is. Ah, yes. Oh, we keep going through a lot of Caterium wire. Which one did I put it in? I got psh, they're most everything's mostly empty in this thing. Uh, because these things actually get made quite quickly. I'm actually kind of impressed. I do need quite a bunch of them, so I might as well throw them in there. Uh, the circuit boards don't really get made. Like you basically two for two. So whatever many circuit boards you put in there, that's how many you get out. So we've made a whole bunch of those. We'll take those. And then, of course, we've still got our computers being made, but that's going to stop pretty soon. We're almost out of material. And then we got this pupper over here making some super computers. <laughs> oh, why I said it like that? Who knows? But it was fun. I think I need more plastic coming in here faster. So basically, chuck these guys over here. Got plenty of computers. Got plenty of, well, not really even plenty of AI limiters, but hopefully enough that, ooh, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. But then I'm going to need even more to unlock it because what I decided to do, oh, 
So what I did was I went through and I just started putting everything I could in for this one. So yeah, all I got left is supercomputers. And then I was like basically going through and I was like, huh, well, what do I need for this one? And then I just knocked out everything except for these lovely radio control units. And then I'm like, well, we'll do the next thing for the hover pack. And then knocked out this little bit. Unfortunately, I am going to need some more radio control units. And then, of course, the cooling system. Oh, uh, then there's leading edge one. Knocked out the nice little steel pipes for those. And, of course, nothing I can do in this final one. But that's going to be it for this episode. While everything starts going, I'm just going to basically just make the little stuff. And then the next episode, I'll start actually building stuff out of here. I feel like we've accomplished so much and so little in the same episode. <laughs> I finally got some power, and the power is completely useless. But I'll do that and start off with that in the next episode. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the good stuff. All the stuff you know and love. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. You have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>